Hello, good afternoon. It's uh, Deal Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session Thursday, the 3rd of May 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and Market Updates from leading providers. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so uh, in terms of the markets at present, we've had the FOMC yesterday. Markets, uh, US equities certainly sold off on the back of that. Again, so far, there has been uh, differences of opinion in terms of what the FOMC uh, certainly signal going forward. The US dollar certainly sold off post FOMC, but that, to, a, to a large extent, that was certainly a uh, buy and rumor sell on news type event. If you look at the dollar index, it had already obviously rallied quite substantially prior to that. Okay, so FOMC certainly remains hawkish from my perspective. Uh, the real sort of uh, confusing uh, or certainly a challenging uh, economic data piece this morning really has been from Europe in terms of the inflation numbers, certainly missing CPI, uh, certainly missing uh, on the downside and therefore keeping the euro under pressure. Now, in terms of the US equities, again, a hawkish view is certainly considered to be bearish for equities, hence the reason why we had the sell-off on the S&P yesterday, quite a substantial sell-off as well, post FOMC. You can see almost a 30, 35 point handle drop on the S&P yesterday. So again, a risk aversion certainly kicked in. That risk aversion follows through into Asian session with Nikkei certainly lower, Shanghai well, it did actually book the trend, but uh, the Hang Seng certainly was lower as well, which is more of a gauge of China. In terms of European equities, recently we've had quite a substantial rally in the German DAX on the daily chart. You can see we've closed that gap there. Okay, going into previous support equals resistance around the 12800 zone. Weekly chart, you can see that may, the most important gap certainly has been closed in the weekly chart as well. And that was led by the uh, weaker euro. As you can see, euro USD has plummeted as of, as of late. I mean, you can certainly see that more um, uh, prolifically on the uh, four hour chart. You can see here it's been in a, a downtrend from 1.24 down to below sub 1.2. So more of a 400, uh, more than a 400 pip drop in the Euro USD. And obviously, weaker inflation this, uh, this morning as well. Mr. Draghi did actually indicate that growth was certainly picking up, but given the fact that we have a drop in the euro, uh, in the inflation numbers, that certainly is uh, is is is, is uh, certainly contradicting his view. Either way, that's the status quo. Let's see exactly where we are in terms of uh, fundamentals in this morning. Economic data releases uh, from the UK uh, data this morning as well certainly came in on the weaker side. Uh, we've got inflation numbers. Obviously, that was a main catalyst there. Uh, Again, we've got political um, uncertainty in the UK with elections, local elections today. Let's see if Miss, uh, Miss May can certainly survive and whether she holds power in London. That will be quite important. In terms of the German DAX, then, let's see exactly where we are. Daily chart certainly is into resistance and therefore looking for a potential reversal here now. 10-minute chart has failed to make a higher high, even test the previous high. So, again, that's considered to be bearish in my view, uh, especially given the fact that the dollar has topped out for a large extent. Now, we do have a mini H&S formation certainly forming here. So just keep an eye on this, your left shoulder, head, obviously right shoulder, and then obviously looking to flush here on the back. Fact, euro certainly has stabilized. Now the weaker euro and weaker sterling certainly has been the main catalyst for FTSE and European equity advance. For, uh, CAC at 40 again, uh, previous support equals resistance holding at uh, 5, uh, 525. Uh, uh, again, looking to potentially move lower on the 10 minute chart, 60 minute chart on the French CAC as well. Certainly seems exhausted. We've, Obviously, hot held that resistance zone daily chart, certainly overextended as well, and looking for a potential uh, reversal here. FTSE 100, again, looks weak from my perspective. It has actually pushed higher this morning up to um, 7555, I think, if it's, if I can recollect. Yeah, and obviously, we started to uh, potentially bounce here as well. So keep an eye on the FTSE, looking for further weakness again. Uh, again, it's a lower high. Bear that in mind, folks. Okay, again, you've got potential for H&S formation here now as well. So watch out, left shoulder, head, obviously right shoulder, obviously down we go. So watch out in terms of the FTSE 100 as well. Okay, so uh, daily chart on the FTSE, certainly overextended too, uh, doji candle. Okay, and on the weekly chart, you can see that uh, we've obviously come into that FIB 75% and looking for a reversal now with US equities certainly under pressure. Now, we did have Snap earnings certainly on the weaker side, uh, Spotify certainly on the weaker side, and obviously Tesla falling on the back of Mr. Uh, Elon's comments uh, certainly were quite <laughs> quite a departure from the norm. Anyway, that's the status quo. Okay, so again, FTSE under pressure, CAC under pressure, European equities certainly under pressure given the fact that the dollar's topped out. And that weaker currency rally certainly is coming to an end. On that note, please be sure to visit TradeSignal, signals and market updates from leading providers. Goodbye now.